now joined by the Glory CEO, John Franklin. John, fantastic to be chatting with you. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. It's great to be with you again. The last time we sat and chatted was, uh, I believe, in Lille, in France. Lille, France. Yeah, so good to be back over in Europe. Um, Glory loves coming to Europe, and we're glad to be here in Milan. First, got to ask you, obviously, we're here in Milan. Um, I mean, this year you had a, a target of, you know, having about 10 events, and, you know, we're, we're there or about. You know, obviously, we've got Amsterdam coming up in December as well. It's, it's been a very busy year for Glory, much busier, and obviously it dropped off the second half of 2014. You know, how happy are you with this year's proceedings? Uh, we're, we're very happy. We've gotten all our events off. We've done it in uh, proper fashion. We're doing more every month. This month, obviously, here in Milan, we've got a title fight on the Glory Superfight Series, first time we've ever done that. And then we've got a couple of fantastic bouts on our, our main card between our, our lightweight title fight and then Josh Johnson and Petrosian. It should be a fantastic evening. And then we go to Amsterdam. And in Amsterdam, it's really the spiritual home of Glory. And because of that, we've got an action-packed night. We've got two title fights in Amsterdam as well with um, Rico Verhoeven and with Nikki Holskin. Yep. So it should be a, a great night in Amsterdam. First time in five or six years that there's been a major kickboxing event in Amsterdam. I know there's been uh, some smaller ones, but we're going back to a big arena. We've already sold a ton of tickets, and we're excited to uh, be here in Milan and then excited to uh, go to Amsterdam in December. Just to touch on Amsterdam, obviously, you know, there's been some issues in Amsterdam over kickboxing and combat sport, kind of been blocked, uh, you know, in the city of Amsterdam. Glory have done excellently to, you know, to kind of show that and get back in and show kickboxing back on this, yeah. this major world scene. You know, for you, how much of an accomplishment is that for yourself and for Glory to be able to do that? Well, we had to apply for a special permit to the mayor's office. They granted it. We're uh, a reputable organization. All of our board of directors, all of our executives were thoroughly vetted to make sure that uh, everything was going to be fine for Amsterdam. So uh, we got the permit and we're good to go. I mean, obviously, you mentioned that, you know, Rico Verhoeven is going to be defending his title against Benjamin Boy, the winner of the previous tournament. Nicky Holskin will find, find out who he's facing here, here yeah. in Glory 25 right. in Milan. Are there any other surprises and, you know, that we can expect in Amsterdam? Well, just, uh, you know, the action, you know, who, who Rico, with Rico's fight, um, the challenger was picked, obviously, in Denver, so that's, that's our hometown in America, so we went right from our heavyweights in our hometown in America to our spiritual home in Amsterdam, so, you know, couldn't be better, going from strength to strength, very exciting for us. The biggest talking point at the minute in glory is obviously the Spike TV deal has finished, um, you know, that, that's been made very, you know, you know public. The next deal is going through, it's been you know, pending through this week. There's been no official announcement through Glory. There's been some rumors going around. You know. Yeah, every, everything is great. We're going to step up to a, a 24 hour sports network. It's going to be better for Glory. It's, uh, we're, we're very excited about it to uh, you know, move on to a, a world leader network. We'll announce it today, we'll give all the official information out today. We're just a couple hours ahead of America, and we have to wait for our partners to. Uh, approve everything. I mean, the deal is done. We just yeah. got to, you know, have the, all the release information approved and uh, we'll be good to go and the future will be bright. Obviously, I know you can't go into specifics yet for, for that reason, but in terms of how much better this deal is for you and for the brand of glory in terms of shoulder programming, promoting the brand, you know, is it that? No, we're looking forward to all those things with a new partner. So, um, you know, all the details will be announced later. Um, if we were talking later in the day, I can talk more about it, or maybe tomorrow we'll, we'll get together again. But um, we're really excited about it. You know, it's a, st a step up for glory for sure. So 2016 around the corner, last time we spoke, we mentioned London. Is, is this still a major possibility? I know um, Choppy Chai Lewis Parry, he's still advocating for that world title shot. Obviously, you know, he, he was unsuccessful in the previous tournament. Uh, he's fighting in 1FC in December, so, you know, London, Choppy Chai, is that, is that a big possibility? We'd love to do that. We'll, we'll see, um, you know, we're wishing him the best of li yeah. luck at, at 1FC. We had a couple of events we wanted to put him in, but he wanted to get through 1FC first, and then we'll look towards uh, getting him back out in the ring in 216. 216 calendar is uh, starting to shape up now with our new TV partner. There's a few uh, things we've got to, uh, you know, solidify, but everything looks really solid, and uh, we're excited about 216 as well. When's the earliest in 2016 we can expect a Glory event? Um, February. We'll take uh, January off, then we'll be back February, March, April, May, probably July off, and then uh, right on through the end of the year, finishing up uh, again, I hope, with the finals in Amsterdam. So looking forward to a you know, big year in 2016.
So is the Amsterdam thing going to be like an annual we, thing? We, we would love to do that if we can put that together. Yeah. You know, it's not confirmed now, but you know, it'd be a great way to finish up our with a season finale every year. And just lastly, obviously, you know, the new broadcast deal is that also going to allow you to put on more events more frequently as well? Well, as you know, we do two events each night: yeah. Super Fight Series plus the Numbered Glory event. So um, as we work out the calendar in 216, we'll get back to you with all the details of what's going to air yeah. where. But it will all be major networks in the U.S. and obviously. Um, internationally, we're increasing all the time. We're up to about 190 countries that we're in. We've just closed deals in Germany. Um, we're closing, you know, a deal in Holland for this event. Yeah. So we're on, you know, we just increase, increase to increase to increase um, with global television. Is there so an up sorry? Strong in the United States and strong around the world right now. Is there an update on the UK? Obviously, you know, it used to be on BT Sport. Then it moved to. We saw it on Spike TV for Glory 22 in Lille. Nothing since obviously now being streamed on Eversport TV. Are you guys looking for a TV partner in the UK? Has anything kind of been moving around for that? We're, we're talking to everyone over there, and we're uh, hopefully have a deal together. You know, before 216, maybe even by Amsterdam. John, thank you very much. Thank you. Always a pleasure.